So in this problem, we've got in the binomial expansion of 1 plus x to the n, where n is greater than or equal to 4, the coefficient of x cubed is the sum of the coefficient of x squared and 80 times the coefficient of x. Find the value of n. So from the previous video, because we know we've got 1 plus x to the n, that means the coefficient of these terms will be n choose 3, n choose 2, n choose 1. OK, so I can utilize that to set up an equation. So the coefficient of x cubed will be n choose 3. And that is the sum of the coefficient of x squared, so n choose 2, and 80 times the coefficient of x, n choose 1. That is what I need to solve. So n choose 3 is n factorial over 3 factorial n take away 3 factorial, and that's equal to n choose 2, so n factorial over 2 factorial n take away 2 factorial, plus 80 times n choose 1, so plus 80 times n factorial over n take away 1 factorial uh, times 1 factorial. Okay, now with this equation, you've got n factorial as a factor throughout. So I can divide through by the n factorial. I'm also going to simplify uh, the 3 factorial, 2 factorial, etc. So I've got 1 over 3 factorial, which is 6, n take away 3 factorial, is equal to 1 over 2 factorial, which is 2, n take away 2 factorial, plus 80 over n minus 1 factorial. OK, now the next step, just as it was in all the other examples we've gone through, I'm going to multiply through by the largest factorial, which is the n minus 1 factorial. So multiplying through by that, I would get n minus 1 factorial over 6n take away 3 factorial, so for that term, equals n take away 1 factorial over 2 n take away 2 factorial plus 80. OK. So n minus 1 factorial is n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 times n minus 4, etc, etc, etc. So I can write it like that, enabling me to cancel the n minus 3 factorial from top and bottom. And that's going to be equal to n minus 1 factorial, which is n minus 1, times n minus 2 factorial, over 2 n minus 2 factorial. So the n minus 2 factorials can cancel, plus 80. So I've conveniently managed to get rid of all the factorials now. So I've got the n minus 1, n minus 2, over 6. Is equal to n minus 1 over 2. plus 80. Right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to multiply through by 6. So I've got, I'm going to expand that out as well. So let's do it all in one go. So n, n squared take away 3n plus 2 is equal to, so I'm going to multiply this by 6. So I'm going to get three lots of n minus 1, so 3n minus 3. And I'm going to multiply the 80 by 6, so that's 480. OK, so subtract 3n from both sides. I've then got 2, uh, add 3 to both sides is 5, take 480 from both sides, so minus 475 equals 0. And then I just need to solve this quadratic. So 1 minus 6 minus 4, 7, 5. And we get n is 25 or minus 19. But of course, it can't be equal to minus 19 because it's got to be positive. Uh, it's got to be greater than or equal to 4, in fact. So n equals, so n equals 25 as n is greater than or equal to 4. And that is the solution to this equation.